Ultra Video Pirate T. Oi! Wanted to make this video pertaining to a application that allows me to control my Android using my computer. I have a HTC 626S running Marshmallow. I found this application, a power mirror, and I will include a link in this YouTube video description to my blog post at anetcomputers.com that has more information. It has detailed instructions in text and also has the download link to this application. It's a, there's a free evaluation version and there's a premium version. So I already downloaded it. It's apowermirror.exe. It's version 1.090 by a PowerSoft Limited. It's about 26 megabytes, so it's not that large. You do not need to download the Android. There is an Android app, but you don't have to download it. This software will automatically install it for you. So click run, then say yes at the user account control. I'm running Windows 10 64 bit English. Then we're just going to click next, accept, click next. It's an AX86, so that tells you it's 32 bit, but that's fine. It still works on Windows 10 even though I have 64 bit. I don't want to create a desktop shortcut, a quick launch, sure why not, run the, no, no I don't like applications to start at Windows, when Windows starts, nope, click next, click install, it's going to take a few seconds to install files, then I want to launch, now you're going to have to go to your Android, so you're going to need your Android. What you and another thing you need to do is make sure you enable debugging mode. I will go over that once I get this installed and mirroring. It it's a mirror application. It allows you to see exactly what's on screen on your Android, and it's also a screen capture program. So it's both, and it also will record video up to three minutes with the free evaluation version you're able to record up to three minutes I'm uninstalling the version on my Android right now just to show you the whole process alright I removed it so you want to connect your you want to make sure your Android is in debugging mode and then obviously you want to connect it to your computer with USB that way it will allow it to install the software on the Android I don't want to register now check this out you can continue to evaluate trial version with following limitations. Only one device can be mirrored. Only allow recording for three minutes with ads and watermarks, but that's fine. It, I don't think it expires, the, the evaluation. You can buy the full version. I'll get to that. Please connect the phone to the computer via USB. It's already connected. So it's going to search. It's going to find your device, and then it will, it's right now, it's installing the app on the Android. It does that too. And then it connects to the Android. It takes a little while. It could be my computer. I think my motherboard only supports USB 2.0 connections. I don't think I have any USB 3. I'm not sure if this application supports USB 3. Now on my Android it popped up the window right here. I'm looking at the same window. So I'm going to a power mirror will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. There's a checkbox. I'm going to hit the checkbox and I'm going to click start now. So that tells me that this desktop version installed the application on my Android. So I don't need to download the app. You know how a lot of times you have to a client server. Anyways, not to get too technical, but I'm going to click start now. And then this is another option. A power mirror can show the notification of your phone. Please en enable notification on your phone. What this does is it will it will show you notifications. You know how you get notifications like there's an update or you get an email if you set up email. You know the notifications on your Android. So I'm gonna I'm gonna enable it now. You can also check do not show this again. Now this this is exactly what's on my Android. You are looking at my Android now. Now it's not the fastest, but that well, I think I changed the video settings. So we'll get into the the video settings. 
if you notice if I click on full screen it will not allow you and then it asks you to register and buy now so we'll just click back on evaluation you can take a screenshot which is just a photo so this could be handy when I make tutorial videos for Android now I'm gonna use this this is kinda of another reason why uh, killing multiple birds with one stone I wanted to remote excuse me con I wanted to control my Android because I also use it as a webcam and I use the software droid cam the problem with that is I have to start it up on the Android then I have to start it on my desktop and and this doesn't always work it, but not to digress too much so this allows me to also turn on my webcam for my videos and then also control my Android and then also you can take screenshots of it of, of this it would take the screenshot of my Android screen and this is the exact same screen I'm looking at now in order to get notifications you you click this checkbox here a power mirror that will allow a power mirror I think I could be wrong click OK okay a power mirror will be able to read all notifications including personal information such as contact names and the text of messages you receive it will also be able to dismiss notifications or trigger action buttons they contain I think this this will allow it to pop up on your computer but I could be wrong or or at least the notification will, will come across on the screen I'm gonna put my Android down softly because I don't want the USB connection to you know detach now there's also a video start recording however since this is the free evaluation version it will only record up to three minutes but that's okay I don't know if I will ever need it but you know what I'm saying but what that would allow you to do is record videos of your use on your Android you could use it for t a tutorial but y you'd have to keep it under three minutes there's a tools we can click on that and in order to browse on your Android you you use your mouse you use your mouse and your keyboard on your computer and you can see the screen and it even <laughs> it even shows up as a like an you know like an Android the shape of an Android the paid for version is we can check we can let's click on buy now because I don't know how much it costs I, I'm not an affiliate I don't I'm not getting paid forty dollars for the full, full version it looks like is that right looks like we can close this screen oh it's really loud so I'm scrolling with my mouse I just scroll up and scroll down just as if this was a Windows computer then th you see these three buttons these are just like I have on my Android so I'm gonna click this to go home but I, I could do that or we could go back this is the tools so looks like there's no free tools but you know it's a free evaluation copy click on the options you can change under general settings auto connect when one device is connected run on startup I don't want that but that's okay those I'm gonna leave those alone you can change the display quality I am my Android takes 720p video and so you could bump this up to 1080 1920 by 1080 if if your device supports that kind of video quality it also will work on an iPhone iPhone 6 6s7 in 720 and then also iPhone 6 6s7 plus in 1080 but I'm just gonna leave it at the default I'll click OK here and was OK oops let's go to capturing settings okay this is when you make a video you're gonna capture the your screen for a tutorial you you can have different video settings as you can see you can choose different type of a video file that you could upload to YouTube or Daily Motion or wherever the the video quality is set to high you can change that now this is could be important what this will do I think I could be wrong but I think if you set it to none then there's no audio input if you set it to microphone it will if you have a microphone connected to your PC I think it will get the audio from that if 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 it's system sounds you don't want to record your your voice but you want to record system sounds you would select it to that or you could have both the output directory it will it will this is where the the video file will get saved to and then that's just 
something else but you can change that I'm just gonna click OK there language English feedback and that's about it for settings now I'm gonna show you what a you know how to function it so you click this to go home or click that to go back or this you know what I'm saying just like as if you're using your Android so I'm gonna close I'm gonna close this notification access screen I'm gonna show you I can I can hit the middle and that'll minimize it you see now in order to use this like on an Android you left click you hold your left mouse button and then you you just scroll down as if it's your finger and then you there you go then the menu expands as you can see a power mirror is installed I did not have to go to my Android and install it when I installed the desktop version it also installed the version on the Android so it's it's the it's kinda like the server and then the desktop is the client so I didn't have to worry about that and as you can see you can see my you know my notifications and blah 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 so you just hold down your left mouse button to go back and it's charged so it's charging it's this is exactly what m you would see my Android and we can see this is another reason why I wanted this is really why it's got this camera so I'll just to to test let's see in order to test we'll just quickly mount this kind of there and what we'll do is it, it'll show you the camera I mean we can you know we can go to YouTube or what else we can turn on the flashlight uh, developer mode how about I, how about I do that now in order to get developer mode working you have to go to settings so we'll we'll just open that up click on the gear and then go to developer options on your Android then go to developer options so you go to settings and the developer options mine's already set otherwise it wouldn't work then you want to turn on USB debugging I think I passed it Did it, there it is right there I sorry I'm just kinda of getting used to this application maybe I'm come on now let's let's go back to the top I don't know if you can use your keyboard maybe I, I should use my keyboard yeah it works you can use your keyboard to scroll up and down too okay there's USB debugging depending on what Android you use it's checked you would go in here it wouldn't be checked you would on uh, you would check it and then it, it would probably pop up a message possibly to turn you know what I'm saying and then when you connect your Android to your PC you get a pop-up on your Android and you have to at least mine mine I don't know if there's a way to automate it but mine I have to click yes and that also allows me to copy files that back and forth from my Android without you know what I'm saying so that's how to enable developer mode you'll have to have that set in order to use this software so we can just click you know minimize that what can we test here this is why I'm trying I'm gonna use it what this will allow me to do is to open up the camera and then it will be obviously it will obviously be it maximizes it too now as you can see it's kinda slow that could be because I have I'm not sure why that is USB I'm trying to think USB 2.0, 3.0, I don't have USB 3.0. However, it, it's slow because it's showing the screen. It, that, that's my camera. But what I can do is I can turn on my camera. Now, it's not going to record using the software. It's going to record using the Android. And then it's going to save the video file onto my Android. And there, because I want to make tutorial videos... I'm I'm trying to get a camcorder. I, I had an old older camcorder that I had that broke, and I was not able to. I was not able to solder it. The power the power connector broke off, and I couldn't solder it back. So for now, this is what I use for my YouTube videos. But 
let's say I didn't want to use my computer I just wanted to take a video of whatever and well actually one reason why is I got this evaluation software I got this bit racer so I wanted to just record part of the video with just my Android but if I wouldn't if I wouldn't be able to con control my Android remotely well then I would have to hit go into the camera application and then hit start and then walk around the camera and that's just that's not you know I don't want to have to do that so this kills multiple birds with one stone for me so I'll close the camera application and it, it, my Android I need to look into it. it it does this crap where it just whatever so let's close that app and then it's back to the screen and then in order to move screens you just hold down your left mouse button and you move as if it's your f finger and that'll take you to this screen do I have three uh, maybe I just have two I think I disabled the third screen because it was like ads and news crap and then what else can I show so it this is exactly what my Android screen looks like and then if I click this it takes me to my app, apps and then then I can manage them and so this this is just exactly what I needed it's it's a little bit well slow it's a free evaluation version it's a little slow but it could be because my my computer only has USB 2.0 connections I think that I think I'm pretty sure I don't think I have USB 3.0 that could be a reason why USB 3.0 the blue connections are quite a bit faster and then you just scroll down and look at your applications and you know so you, th this is a way and then also Wi-Fi let me see if I can show you Wi-Fi I think we have to we might have to go back here as you see how it added the application automatically I didn't have to go to the Android and install it off the Google Play Store tap to enter let's see if we can change in here from why I'm pretty certain you can choose Wi-Fi mode let's see maybe not oh settings oh desktop notifications I think I already went over that check auto check for updates you can turn that off I'm gonna turn off the send error report uh, I don't want now yeah, check turn that off desktop notifications we are I think we already went over that yep let's see where where let's see screen mode how about capture settings general settings I'm thinking maybe the fact that that it's connected to my computer via USB and it's running that I can't change the Wi-Fi settings you might you might well you know what it might be in the software I didn't really mess around with that because I I don't want to use it via Wi-Fi yeah let's see I know it installs software to my desktop let's check that out yeah it's already running well you know what it might be on your Android there, there that you might have to go on your Android and well but well, I am on my Android let's try to go back and then I'm gonna run if I can't figure it out within a few seconds because I don't want to waste your time and my time it's not important to me the Wi-Fi mode but it might be important to you is there a way to let's see let's move this and then right click you know what it's probably because I'm connected I'm thinking if I disconnect and go in on either via the Windows software or the Android software then you can change it to Wi-Fi but you have to be on your your Android must be on the same network as your wireless router so a power mirror you can control your Android from a computer and an iPhone. Adios!